Hello people, in this video let us look at this topic hematuria. Something is there in the urine. What is there in the urine? Hemat. Something to do with blood. So, you can just say it is blood and urine. Okay. But the urine may be visible hematuria can be there or invisible hematuria can be there. That means there can be some uh, RBCs that you can detect only in microscope. Okay. So, there can be visible hematuria or invisible hematuria so many uh, things right now slightly slightly uh, it is getting complicated for you so basically in a normal person itself there can be some rbcs in the urine okay but if there is visible hematuria if there is visible hematuria macroscopic or there is some non visible hematuria microscopic or you can detect it only in a dipstick okay so again that is also indicative of some bleeding somewhere so, did you understand that there is there are two types here, visible hematuria and non-visible hematuria? I think we should flip this image, visible and non-visible. Anyways, now let us look at why visible hematuria will happen. Visible hematuria will happen usually if there is a tumor, if there is infection, right? If there is a UTI, infection. If there is If there are stones, right renal stones renal calculi etc iga nephropathy following some throat infection so that can be causes of visible hematuria so now it is time for you to tell us what are the what are the types of hematuria there are two types of hematuria you have visible hematuria and invisible hematuria when it comes to visible hematuria it is because of uh, tumor stones uti uh, and one more thing was there um, iga nephropathy right these are visible now coming to invisible also we have to see invisible hematuria please yeah invisible hematuria that is non visible hematuria it can happen because of um, infection tumor glomerular ble bleeding same thing they are saying and there are something else here two terminologies extra they are adding here the two extra terminologies are hemoglobinuria and myoglobinuria. Slightly it got complex for you, right? So under non-visible hematuria, they are putting hemoglobinuria. That is only hemoglobin is there. Not the intact RBC. Not RBC, but the content of the RBC. That is the hemoglobin you can find in the urine. In the urine, what are you seeing? Hemoglobin. That means there is some lysis of this RBC and the hemoglobin has come. So intravascular hemolysis. Some vas intravascular hemolysis is happening. Then coming to myoglobinuria, that means this urine will be brown urine. If it is brown urine, then it could be because of rhabdomyolysis. Okay. Now people, let us look at all the uh, causes uh, in one diagram. So hematuria, you can have, um, let us see what at all we have learned till now and if we can identify that. Renal tumor, yes, we saw tumors. Then nephritis, did you see all nephritis guys? You know nephritis means there is hematuria and proteinuria. Calculus, they told us. Tumor, they told us. Uretric tumor. Trauma, very good. Trauma, trauma they didn't include. Trauma can have visible, isn't it? Calculus again, bladder calculus. Calculus has come already three times, I think. Renal calculi. Where in all calculus came? Renal calculus. Uretric calculus. Bladder calculus. Bladder tumor. So, tumor everywhere you write. You write tumor there, tumor in the kidney, tumor in the ureter, tumor in the bladder. Similarly, how you wrote calculi in three places, right? Tumor in three places. Cancer of the prostate. Again, trauma, trauma, trauma. Trauma they are writing again and again. You also write like that. Okay. Then on this side, let us see what they have written. Polyarteritis nodosa, vascular mal malformation, renal infarction, coagulation disorders, cystitis, that is nothing but UTI only infection. Benign prostate enlargement, urethritis. Itis, itis, itis and all they have put on this side looks like. Except nephritis which is on this side. So all this you will write, right? See, sometimes though there is, uh, you will detect blood, it may not be a uh, uh, hematuria. The blood can be coming from other places. Okay, that can happen if it is menstrual blood, right? Or um, if the urine is contaminated by some hypochlorite or bleach, so, this is basically they are saying that somebody has tampered with the urine sample. They gave a urine sample, they have added some hypochlorite to it, oxidizing agent and they have made it look red looks like. Oh, okay. No, 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 wait. But this is a false positive. The blood is coming from elsewhere, is it? Okay, you will get a false positive but it's not blood of urine. Okay, then false negative. That means you will miss it. 
though it is there you are going to miss it now when is it going to be false negative whenever there is um, ascorbic acid is high if ascorbic acid is high then you will miss you will miss looking for the rbc chemical test is negative you can see the rbc in the microscope but chemically when you test for it you will get negative okay when formalin is used as preservative will you use formalin as preservative for urine you should not if you want to examine urine examine it immediately don't try to preserve it and all if there is um, urine color change after exposure to light okay sunlight that can be a porphyria okay so look at this chemical test to look for hematuria what are the chemical tests benzidine test benzidine test ortho toluene test then reagent strip test you will write for everything right now what is this benzidine test and ortho toluene test ortho toluene they like more it is more sensitive they are seeing than benzidine so look at the uh, principle here on which it works so basically you, uh, this benzidine you use or ortho toluene whatever you use it's a chromogen there is hydrogen peroxide which is reacting with this uh, chromogen and it is giving oxidized chromogen and water so this is the principle so there is heme protein uh, this heme protein that is hemoglobin will reduce the hydrogen peroxide to water so you need a hydrogen donor so these benzidine and ortho toluene these are benzidine and ortho toluene are hydrogen donors what are these benzidine and ortho toluene are hydrogen donors so if this guy accepts hydrogen he will reduce himself right it reduces hydrogen peroxide to water so then oxidation of the hydrogen donor leads to development of a color this ortho toluene test we have also done for detecting chlorine right free free chlorine in water in psm we have studied this ortho toluene test so let's look at this again this uh, chromogen is going to give hydrogen this hydrogen peroxide is accepting this hydrogen and it is becoming water and there is oxidized chromogen and it is giving the color okay so basically this hydrogen peroxide is coming from where from the heme from the hemoglobin so just in this uh, causes of non visible hematuria just remember it's the same causes only uh, but you can't see it infection tumor etc then uh, intravascular hemolysis hemoglobinuria rhabdomyolysis myoglobinuria this is all you have to remember